airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of those tricky areas from the flight deck. Albuquerque International Sunport is a large multi-use airport located just south and east of the city of Albuquerque, New Mexico. There is associated Class Charlie airspace, and the pilots need to be familiar with the requirements to operate in this type of airspace before they arrive. The traffic mix consists of every aspect of the aviation community, from pre-solo students all the way to high-time air carrier and military pilots. The combination of pilot experience and aircraft capability makes ABQ a challenging and interesting airport. Add to this high density altitude and surrounding terrain, and this quickly warrants increased awareness, especially for the first time visitor. The runway configuration consists of two intersecting runways, three, two, one, and 1230, and non-intersecting runway 826. Civilian aircraft utilize the terminal and ramp areas located at the west end of runway 826 and west of the two intersecting runways. There is a large area of military-controlled ramp north and east of runway 826 that is clearly marked as off-limits to unauthorized aircraft. Perhaps due to airport geometry or the surrounding desert environment making it difficult for pilots to see the airport surfaces, some arriving pilots have lined up for a runway other than the one they were cleared to use. This occurs predominantly when ABQ is in Westflow operations, utilizing runways 21, 26, and 30. To a lesser but no less important extent, the airport geometry particularly concerning the approach ends of runway 8 and 12, have contributed to issues as well. In the air or on the ground, if you are ever in doubt about your clearance and instruction or about your own position, the easiest answer is to ask the tower. They are there to help. Taken slightly out of order due to the number of occurrences, Hotspot 2 is the intersection of taxiways Charlie, Golf, and Foxtrot, and runway 321. The primary issue here concerns aircraft taxiing in either direction on Golf, instructed to hold short runway 321. For any number of reasons, pilots have passed the hold short lines and conflicted with aircraft operating on that runway. This is another case where understanding your clearance before taxi and continually scanning for taxiway and runway markings and signage will help keep the operation safe and efficient. Another issue that occurs at this location concerns aircraft cleared for takeoff on runway 21 at the intersection of Taxiway Golf. Pilots have taxied onto the runway and turned in the opposite direction then attempted to take off on runway 3. One look at the airport diagram makes the hazard of this situation very clear. Hotspot 1 is located at the approach end of runway 8 and concerns a couple of issues. The runway safety area requirements call for the hold short lines to be located further away from the runway than pilots may expect. Avoiding heads-down tasks while scanning outside the aircraft for taxiway markings and signage will help pilots avoid this type of mistake. Another issue found at Hotspot 1 concerns aircraft holding short of runway 8 on taxiway Echo 1 and subsequently cleared for takeoff. Several aircraft have crossed the end of runway 8 onto taxiway Alpha 1 and tried to depart taxiway Alpha. Again, Continual scanning 
An understanding of taxiway and runway markings and signage will help avoid this error. Be aware that many of the hold short lines on the airfield are located farther back from the runway than pilots may expect. Hotspot 3 is found at the approach end of runway 21 and the intersections of taxiways Echo and Hotel. Too many pilots are missing the hold short lines positioned further back than they may expect inadvertently crossing into the runway safety area. This happens often enough to warrant the hotspot designation. This has been an issue for pilots taxiing through this intersection in either direction. The often good weather and beautiful terrain around AVQ attract other aspects of aviation as well. First-time travelers to the airport need to be aware of hot air balloons and gliders that share the airspace around the Albuquerque area. Being aware of the hot spots and other configuration issues at ABQ will help pilots make better decisions and along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operations safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Albuquerque International Sunport. It's always better to know before you go.